Hello, in this presentation we will explain and introduce the rotation matrices. I recommend that you make sure that you really understand the concepts explained in this video to be able to continue with the rest of the videos in this tutorial. Since rotation matrices are an essential element in many robotic systems to represent the orientation of links. The aim is to introduce rotation matrices to represent orientation in 3D spaces. Specifically, we will see rotation matrices expressions for both cases, 2D and 3D. We will also see basic rotation matrices, rotation matrix properties and the composition of rotations to obtain arbitrary orientations. A rotation matrix uh, represents a, a rotation of a reference frame contained on an x-y plane. The first column represents the coordinates of the u-vector. The u-vector is uh, the vector aligned initially with the x-axis but rotated. And the second vector we have is the vector v. It's the same, it's, uh, it corresponds to the vector y which uh, has been rotated with the corresponding angle. Both rotations are referred with respect to the origin of the reference system and a positive rotation implies a counterclockwise turn. So if you see the expression of the rotation matrix in, in two dimensions, the first column corresponds to the coordinates of the uh, u-vector and the second column corresponds to the, col uh, to the coordinates of the v-vector. The u and the v-vector, remember, are the original frame but once it's rotated. So this is an example of a rotation of 45 degrees. Uh, this implies that we rotate 45 degrees the x-axis to get u and we uh, rotate another 45 degrees uh, the y-axis to obtain v. As a result we obtain the uh, numerical uh, matrix we, we can see here and again the first column corresponds to the coordinates once rotated of uh, the u-vector and the second column corresponds to the coordinates of the v-vector. In this second example we rotate minus 60 degrees clockwise Okay, so in this case we get different coordinates for vectors u and v and we can easily check that each of the coordinates that we get correspond indeed to the ones that we can see in the figure. For instance, if we take a look to the first uh, column uh, of this rotation, the uh, second uh, element of the u vector has a negative value on the, on the y projection which means that actually it's pointing backwards as you can see. Rotation in a 3D included in a space can be defined with a 3x3 matrix. We use uh, dextro rotary systems, that is reference systems that axes are arranged based on the right hand rule as shown in the figure and uh, a rotated reference frame will be represented with the axes u, v and w while the fixed frame will use the coordinates x, y and z. Okay, so the fixed system will be modified, rotated and will be transformed into the v, u, v and w uh, reference frame. So let's start by applying a, a rotation around the x-axis. This is a basic rotation matrix around the x. In this case the u-vector is not modified because it was originally aligned with the x-axis. So if this, uh, this is the rotation axis and the only vectors that are modified are the vectors v and w in this case. And we can see from the resulting analytic expression of the rotation matrix around x-axis that the first column it has uh, 1, 0, 0 which means that it's indeed aligned with the x-axis while the other two columns are modified with a corresponding angle uh, similar to the 2D case. If we make a rotation around the x-axis, in this case what we have is that the, the, the v-vector is aligned with the y-axis uh, and in this case uh, it's not modified but the u and w vectors are modified so with a corresponding angle and the analytic expression is the one shown in the slide. Finally if we uh, apply uh, a rotation on the z-axis the u and v vectors are modified, are affected. In fact, this rotation is the same as the two rotation matrix as we saw before, specifically the sub matrix uh, 2 by 2 indicated in, uh, in the slide. Rotation matrices uh, have interesting properties, specifically 
both its columns and rows are always unit and orthogonal vectors. The determinant of a rotation matrix is always 1, while the inverse of a rotation matrix is equal to its transpose, and this is a nice property when we want to uh, uh, apply rotations in the opposite direction. So, if we want to uh, make a, a composition of rotations, we can do that easily by sequentially doing multiplications of rotation matrices, and we can do that with respect, so each of the uh, basic rotations could be done with respect to the fixed axis or with respect to the mobile reference frame. So, depending if we do the rotation with respect to the fixed axis or the uh, mobile reference frame, we need to pre-multiply or left, uh, left side uh, multiplication or post-multiply, right multiplication, as we see in this slide. So, the idea is that the, the, our reference frame will have a specific orientation and if we perform, for instance, a, a rotation around the x-axis, then we have to pre-multiply uh, x axis uh, rotation to the current uh, orientation and then we will get in the end a new uh, rotation matrix. And we can do the same with respect to the mobile frame, we will see that in, uh, in different examples. So now for instance we see an example of three consecutive turns, uh, the first one is around x, the second one is around y and the third one uh, is uh, around the z-axis. Since the terms are always ap applied, in this case, uh, with respect to the fixed uh, reference frame, we see that the order of operations need to be applied just in the opposite way how they have been applied. So, because they are doing a pre-multiplication of each of the basic rotations. As you can see here in the, in the expression, we have Rz, Ry and Rx, each of them are indeed a pre-multiplication of Rx, Ry, and Rz pre-multiplied, ok? So, the final, uh, in this case for these uh, numerical values, we can see the final uh, uh, result for this rotation with these numbers and they correspond indeed to the coordinates of the u, v and w uh, uh, axis of the mobile frame once rotated with these um, angles. So, uh, on the other hand, if we apply now the same turns but in reverse order, we can apply a, rot a rotation around z, then around y, and finally around x, we can see that in this case, the order of the, uh, um, in this case, the order of the orientations is different, and because of the, uh, uh, in this case, the matrix uh, multiplications is a non-commutative, uh, uh, does not satisfy the, the, the commutative pr uh, property, it means that the final orientation is completely different, ok? So, this is very important, uh, to know the order of the operations whenever we apply a, or we make a, a rotation composition. Finally, here we show an, another example in which uh, the sequence of operations is performed with respect to the mobile reference system. So, at the beginning, both uh, the fixed and the mobile frames are coincident, and applying a rotation around u is actually the same as applying a rotation around x. However, once rotated, the next rotation is applied around V, and then around W. As a consequence, we must post-multiply the basic rotation matrices. In this uh, presentation, we have seen uh, rotation matrices for representing the orientation in 3D space. Make sure you properly understand all concepts before continuing the next videos. Thank you very much.